You're probably familiar with popular pets such as hamsters and guinea pigs. However, beyond these common critters, there exists a world of extraordinary animals that may not be as well known, but are just as remarkable. Here are seven incredible animals that you should definitely get acquainted with. Number seven, barrel eye fish. Yet it looks like a super weird fish, it does seem that the deeper we look into the oceans of the world, the stranger the sea creatures become, and the barrel eye fish is one such oddity. Equipped for a starring role in a science fiction movie, the barrel eye fish with a transparent dome-shaped head and sensitive tube-shaped eyes, which are covered by a green liquid-filled shield. Beautiful. This helps the creature to spot prey above them, even if they are swimming in the pitch black of the very deep ocean. They also have a pair of nostrils which, oh, look like sad eyes and pointy snout with a small mouth. They also have flat, elongated fins so that they move through the water by simply floating motionlessly and their bodies contain a selection of luminous organs, giving the fish an otherworldly glow. Now while the Barillet fish is no oil painting, it is hard to argue that it isn't well adapted to its deep sea habitat. This may be one of the best equipped fish for functioning down there. Where other deep dwelling animals have lost their sight altogether, the barrel eye fish has honed their vision to work even in the glue. This definitely gives them an edge in the food finding and eating category and perhaps in the evading predators department as well. Number six, Tarsier. Tarsier is a small furry primate with absurdly big cartoonish eyes that's only found on Southeast Asian islands like the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei, but they used to be much more widespread. Fossils of this type of animal have been found in Asia, North America, and European countries. These nocturnal creatures have soft fur which is gray or kind of buff colored and long tails fossils. They appear to be a rounded shape because of the way they cling onto branches, all kind of scrunched up, but they actually have slender long bodies and long hind legs. The most distinctive feature of Tarsiers is obviously their big round eyes, which are set in their very round body faces. Considering the diminutive size of the rest of them, Tarsiers eyes are absolutely enormous. In fact, they have the biggest eyes in relation to their body size of any mammal out there. Each eyeball weighs almost as much as its whole brain. They also have a special skill. They can spin their head a full 180 degrees in each direction, almost exorcist style or, you know, like an owl, if you prefer a reference with less cursing and vomiting. Number five, the pink fairy armadillo. The pink fairy armadillo sounds as if it's been invented by a five-year-old girl but it is a real bona fide creature. This is the smallest species of armadillo, and it lives in the dry grasslands and sandy plains of South America, especially in central Argentina. These funny little creatures in their armored bodies are super well adapted to life in the arid landscape. One of their special skills is an extraordinary ability to dig themselves entirely into the sand in lightning quick time, getting completely underground in a matter of moments. In fact, this is quite a mole-like characteristic, but that does make sense. These pink fairy armadillos are basically like pale, armor-clad moles in that they live in the vast majority of their lives underground and only pop up to the surface on occasion to look for food at night. The other awesome feature that is all but unique to this, this little creature is the way that it regulates its body temperature. Pink fairy armadillos can flush their blood vessels in their shells, which is why they're pink by the way, and they can also adjust the temperature, kind of like adjusting the thermostat on your heating system. It can expose more blood to the cool air and decrease its core temperature if it's too warm. And likewise, if it drains the blood from its shell, it will warm itself by retaining the heat. Number four, flying squid. Here we are back in the ocean to see another weird offering from the depths. This time for your eyeballs, I have the flying squid an especially talented cephalopod with a penchant for air travel. Weird, huh? These flying squid have eight arms, complete with suckers, and a really large elongated head. Unfortunately for them, these animals are a favorite on the dinner plates of many Asian countries, and they can be found on menus across Japan, China, Korea, and Taiwan, which no doubt makes the necessity of fast, evasive travel pretty important for the whole staying alive process. When people first observed flying squid, 
They believed them to be part of the flying fish family rather than a mollusk-based being, but upon closer observation, it revealed what they actually were, and also some of the cool ways that they actually do what they do flying squid really do get some air. They use an extremely efficient jet propulsion mechanism within their bodies to travel above the water. This both saves energy and helps them to escape predators. They're capable of covering 98 feet in one flying leap as they spread their tentacles and fins to make themselves more aerodynamic. Well, whatever comes next. Number three, Paku Paku fish. These freshwater fish are native to South America and their name comes from a Brazilian native language in which Paku means fast eater. That's because, like Pyrenees, these fish have some extraordinarily efficient eating skills. Except that these guys are vegetarians. Growing up to be three feet long by the time it reaches adulthood, the Paku actually keeps on growing throughout its life. Imagine if all animals did this. Just think about that for a minute. Which creatures would be the biggest and just how large could humans get? Now, although they are known as the vegetarian Pyrenha, the Paku will very occasionally eat smaller fish when its preferred diet of plants, fruits, nuts, and algae is scarce, but this is not their preference. In fact, when they're grown, they have a set of teeth creepily like humans, and they use these for grinding their food and chewing like we do, but also as tools for cracking nuts that fall into the river. Number two, Amazon River Dolphin. The largest and most clever of all freshwater dolphins, the Amazon Pink River Dolphin can change its color and even blush, a bit like a human does. These dolphins are actually born gray, like most others of the species, but they slowly turn pink as they grow up. It's kind of the opposite to humans, who start off one color and often go gray as they get older. These creatures can grow up to about 9 feet, weighing around 400 pounds, often living as long as 30 years. The male of the species is stronger pink in color than their female counterparts. What exactly causes this? Still being figured out, but it's also believed that it may have something to do with external factors like their diet and the way they interact. The fighting in which they participate causes scar tissue that may affect their overall coloration, and much like other dolphins, their intelligence makes them particularly appealing to humans looking for wildlife interactions with social creatures. But like other dolphins as well, their intelligence and ability to work together through communication with one another should give any other creature a second's pause, even us humans. If there ever were candidates for plotting world domination, it would be these guys I mean seriously. They may be smiling, but these animals have a lot more going on in their noggins than we give them credit for. Number one, the blue dragon. These teeny-weeny little dragons had a whole load of Texas wildlife experts scratching their heads and watching their step when they began washing up on the shore at Padre Island National Seashore in 2020. People began collecting them up for a closer look. The little blue dragons are actually a really rare kind of sea slug. They measure only about three centimeters or just over an inch long and have a surprisingly unpleasant sting. In fact, Although these titchy little dragons don't breathe fire, they do prey upon Portuguese man-of-war jellyfish. But surprisingly, these animals hunt down the big bad jellyfish in order to steal their stinging toxins. Then once they have a hold of the dangerous juice, they turn it into their own defensive weapon against other predators. So despite their seemingly innocuous appearance, these rare little sea creatures can deliver a hefty sting. And although the people on that Texas beach were fascinated by the blue dragons, they were also extremely fortunate to avoid the very nasty sting. Maybe it's best to avoid poking something if you don't really know what it is. I hope you had a fantastic time discovering these remarkable animals. Were any of them new to you? And if so, what were your impressions? Did any of these unique creatures give you a scare? Please feel free to share all your thoughts in the comments section below. Additionally, don't forget to explore the other interesting content currently appearing on your screen. Looking forward to our next session.